feet. Looks good. Very good. Simone Biles, fresh off her gold medal triumphs in Paris, showed up at an Indiana Fever game to witness Caitlin Clark in action. What followed was pure insanity. Clark, already a force in the WNBA, faced off against her rival, Dijanai Carrington, in a heated battle that had the crowd on the edge of their seats. With Biles watching, Clark shattered a rookie three-point record, silencing Carrington and sending the arena into a frenzy. Can you even imagine the pressure of breaking a record with an Olympic legend in the stands? Brown in celebration. The height, the form, the distance. You could feel the electricity in the air the moment Simone Biles and Gabby Thomas walked into the arena. It wasn't just any night at the Indiana Fever game. This was something special. The crowd's excitement surged, and you could practically hear the whispers rippling through the stands as fans realized who had just arrived. Biles, fresh off her incredible gold medal wins at the Paris Olympics, and Thomas, another athletic powerhouse, were here. The Fever players, already fired up for the game, were completely starstruck. You could see it on their faces. They weren't just meeting fans, they were meeting legends. And then there was Nalissa Smith. Her reaction summed it up perfectly. You know that pure joy that hits you when you meet someone you've looked up to your whole life? That was Smith. She practically skipped over to Biles, grinning ear to ear. And when she finally stood next to her for a picture, she let out a joyful, damn. It was such a raw, unfiltered moment. You could see how much Biles meant to her. For Smith, this wasn't just about basketball anymore. This was about standing next to one of the greatest athletes in the world, someone whose achievements reach far beyond the court or the gym. It was like a dream come true. And honestly, who wouldn't feel that way? Simone Biles is the Simone Biles, an 11-time Olympic medalist who's achieved things most people can only dream of. Seeing her and Thomas in the same space, watching this intense WNBA game, made it clear just how much women's sports have exploded. Biles wasn't just there to show face. She was genuinely excited to witness the next generation of greatness. You could see it in her interactions with the players and fans alike. She wasn't some distant celebrity. She was a fan herself, cheering on the fever and Caitlin Clark, just like the rest of us. Biles and Thomas weren't just casual spectators. They were there to watch Caitlin Clark in action, and that changed everything. It's one thing for a regular fan to show up and expect great things from a rising star. But when someone like Biles, who knows all about performing under pressure, shows up, the stakes are automatically raised. Clark, already a standout rookie, had her chance to show what she was made of, with two Olympic legends watching her every move. And let's be real, when Simone Biles is in the house, it's like a challenge to everyone on the court to step up their game. For Biles and Thomas, this was a moment to support another woman pushing the boundaries of what's possible in sports. And for Clark, it was a chance to rise to the occasion. You could feel the weight of it. Every pass, every shot, every move Clark made seemed to carry more significance, knowing that she was playing in front of some of the greatest athletes of all time. And man, did she deliver. It's like Biles' presence ignited something extra in Clark, pushing her to play even harder, break records, and give the kind of performance that left us all in awe. You wouldn't believe what went down the night Caitlin Clark broke the WNBA rookie record. It was one of those moments that makes you sit on the edge of your seat, holding your breath. Clark had been on fire all season, but this game took things to another level. In the middle of an intense showdown, Clark hit her 86th three-pointer of the season, breaking the WNBA rookie record for most threes in a season. But the real kicker? She did it right in front of her rival, Dijanai Carrington, who had been trash-talking and trying to rattle her all night long. There was something poetic about Clark breaking that record right in Carrington's face. 
Carrington had been relentless earlier in the game, stealing the ball from Clark and mocking her, trying to get in her head. It was clear that these two had history, and you could feel the tension building with every play. Carrington, known for her aggressive style, wasn't going to give Clark an inch, but Clark wasn't about to back down either. Every time Carrington got in her face or made a move, Clark responded with even more fire. It was like watching two heavyweight boxers going punch for punch, but instead of gloves, they were throwing threes and layups. Then came the moment. Clark, just outside the arc, with Carrington closing in fast, pulled back and let it fly. A perfect step back three. You know that sound when the ball hits nothing but net? That clean, crisp swish that sends a chill down your spine? That was it. The crowd went wild, and for a second, it felt like time stopped. Carrington, who had been talking all that smack, was left standing there, watching the ball sail through the hoop. Clark didn't even flinch. She knew what she had done. She had just set a new rookie record in the most savage way possible, right in the face of her biggest rival. It wasn't just the shot itself that made the moment so incredible. It was the context. Clark had been under immense pressure all game, with Carrington breathing down her neck, the stakes high, and two Olympic legends, Simone Biles and Gabby Thomas, watching from the stands. It was the perfect storm, and yet Clark handled it like the star she is, using that pressure to fuel her performance. The step back three wasn't just another shot, it was a statement. It was Clark telling the world, I'm here and I'm making history, no matter who's in front of me. If you thought Caitlin Clark and Dijanai Carrington's rivalry was just another basketball beef, think again. This was personal. You could feel the tension between them from the start of the game, and it only intensified as the night went on. Carrington, with her usual swagger, wasn't going to let Clark have an easy night. She started early, getting in Clark's face, trash-talking, and even managing to steal the ball from her during a crucial play. Carrington didn't stop there. She shushed the crowd, soaking in the booze as if she was feeding off the tension. It was the ultimate power move, an attempt to show Clark who was boss on the court. But here's the thing about Clark. She doesn't back down, not even when someone like Carrington is gunning for her. You could see it in her eyes, cold, focused, and ready to prove herself. Carrington's steal might have rattled most players, but not Clark. Instead, she waited for her moment to strike back, and when it came, it was brutal. Clark, who had been patiently biding her time, stepped back for a deep three-pointer with Carrington right in front of her. The ball arced beautifully through the air, and the second it swished through the net, it was game over, at least for that moment. Clark didn't just sink a shot. She shattered a record right in front of Carrington. It was as if she was saying, nice try, but you can't touch this. The crowd erupted, and Carrington? She was left standing there, watching the ball go in, completely silenced. That shot wasn't just about points, it was about dominance. Clark had faced Carrington's taunts, her aggressive defense, and her attempts to take control of the game, and with one cold-blooded three-pointer, she put her rival in her place. It was a moment that defined their rivalry a battle of wills that Clark won in spectacular fashion. As all this drama unfolded on the court, guess who was on the edge of her seat, fully immersed in the action? Simone Biles. You'd think someone who's been in the spotlight her entire life, who's competed at the highest level and won multiple Olympic gold medals might be a little hard to impress. But no. Biles was completely swept up in the intensity of the game. Every time Clark hit a big shot or Carrington made a play, Biles' excitement was visible. She wasn't just casually watching. She was in it, reacting with the crowd, her face lighting up with every big moment. It was clear that Biles was just as much a fan that night as anyone else. And she didn't hold back on social media either. After the game, she jumped on X, formerly Twitter, to share her thoughts, writing, everyone watches women's sports, so happy to be able to go support, my first of many WNBA games. You could feel the pride she had in being there, watching women athletes on this massive stage, and her enthusiasm was contagious. The way she interacted with the players, her genuine excitement, 
it all spoke volumes. This wasn't just a celebrity appearance. Biles was fully invested, supporting women's sports in a way that left a lasting impression. What made it even more special was how Clark's performance seemed to captivate even someone like Biles. Here you have a gymnast who's literally the greatest of all time in her sport. Watching a basketball game and getting caught up in the magic of it all. It's like the torch was being passed from one generation of legendary athletes to the next. Biles could see the greatness in Clark, just like the rest of us. Clark's ability to thrive under pressure, her record-breaking shot, and her fierce rivalry with Carrington, these are the things that define legends, and Biles recognized it in real time. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.